Okay, in this video we're going to do the example. So we're finally going to get to analyzing and defining medical terms as well as putting into practice some of the things we've been working on. Okay, so why won't you let me? There we go. All right, techniques to learn medical terms built from word parts. You have three steps. You have analyze the word, you have define the word, and then you have building. Okay, so for example, analyze, you divide the medical terms into the word parts, you label each word part, and you label each combining form, which remember is just the word root as well as the connecting vowel, and sometimes there can be more than one. You then apply the meaning, you always begin by defining the suffix and then move to the end, and then you place the words, the word parts together to form the terms. Okay, so for example, you have osteoarthropathy. Okay, so first all you do, you got to put slashes to separate it out. We then label it. So osti is a word root, the o is a connecting vowel, word root connecting vowel, and s stands for suffix. The only other one we don't have here, p, would stand for prefix if we had it as well. Okay, pretty straightforward. Now then you label each combining form. The combining form is just right here where you're combining the word root and the connecting vowel. So remember, combining form is going to be the word root and the connecting vowel. This one happens to have two. Then we apply the meaning of each word part. So we're going to start with the suffix. Suffix is pathy. Pathy is disease of. And then you move to the front. Osti is bone. Arth is joint. So our formal fancy definition of this term is disease of the bone and joint. Okay? Pretty straightforward. You then place the word parts together to form the terms, which would be the opposite. Okay, so these are really kind of two opposite processes here. So you have analyzing and defining that kind of go together, and then building. So this time, if you had disease of the bone and joint, again, you, disease is your prefix. Your prefix is pathy. Your bone is osti. The joint is arth. So therefore, you reapply combined vowels, and you get osteoarthropathy, okay? So again, it goes back and forth. We're going to get lots of practice. We're really just learning the basic processes here. All right, word per parts for practice, which we've seen. It's part of the reason I was making us memorize. The word roots and the combining forms, arthro is joint, hepato is liver, veno is vein, or veno, osteo is bone, Combining vowel is O. The prefixes we need to be familiar with in the beginning are going to be intra, which is within, sub, which is under. Suffixes are itis or inflammation. Ick and us mean the same thing, pertaining to, and then pathy is going to be disease. Okay, so we're going to analyze. First, we're going to analyze and define. Then we're going to flip it around and show you the opposite. So for analyze and defining, the first thing that you have to be able to do is add slashes. Okay, we're going to add slashes. Now, we will do a lot of this in class. I'm big on highlighters. I'm big on using different colored pens to help you identify things. So, we're going to do a lot of this together. But what they've done is they've put slashes in on these words, separating, attempting to separate it into the word parts that we have. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, once you have them separated, and we're going to, like I said, we're going to do a lot of these in class, so I'm going to just kind of skim through it. This is, again, just a basic review or a basic intro video. Step two is to label the word parts. Remember, your options for word parts, WR is word root, you've got S, which is suffix, you've got P, which is prefix, and you've got combining vowel, which is CV. Step three is going to be applying the definition of the word parts, starting with the suffix. Okay, so for example, arthritis is the very first word on that list. You start with the suffix, itis is inflammation, arthro or arth is going to be joint, either one. So you end up with arthritis, which is inflammation of the joint. Remember, you put the suffix first the majority of the time. If this didn't make any sense, then yes, you flip it around. But the suffix first, and then the um, word part, the word root, and you get inflammation of the joint. Without the context, you can still define these words very quickly and be able to put more of them together. Okay, so for example, if we do, you're going to see the examples to these, but if you're doing this on your own and this is review or this is an introduction for you and you were absent the way that we did the day that we did this, what I would like you to do, because I'm going to give you the answers here in a minute, is pause this video 
and tr attempt to define these terms right here. So attempt to define intravenous, osteitis, osteoarthritis, subhepatic, osteopathy, arthropathy, and hep hepatitis. Okay, so try to define those first. And you're going to see the answers here because I'm going to show you the reverse. So go ahead and pause, try these, and then press play again once you have an attempt at all of these. Okay, so now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to talk about doing medical terms for given definitions and talk about that process. Now, for those of you who just paused last video, here are your answers. Okay, so if you want to check those, and then I'm going to talk about the reverse process, and we're essentially going to rebuild the words from that, inf from that information that you had. Okay, so now if we're talking about, where's my, there we go. Um, building medical terms. So we're just going in the opposite version. Now what we have to do is identify the parts of the definition that could help us build a term. So for example, inflammation is going to be the suffix, which is itis. Remember, a lot of times it goes suffix first. And joint is going to be arth. Arthur. There you go. Now, there's, that's it. There's not another word root. There's no prefix. It's just inflammation of a joint. And then we put those together with any combining vowels as needed. So inflammation of the joint is going to be arthritis. Making sure that I spelled that right, okay? Arthritis, and that's it. You don't need a combining vowel because this, the suffix already starts with a vowel. So you don't have to add one in. Okay, now, if we do pertaining to within a vein, we've got a couple of things here. First of all, we have pertaining to. Okay, pertaining to can be one of two. It can be ick or it can be us. And this one is going to be us, and I'm just going to tell you that right now. If you had put ick, um, I probably would give you credit for it at this beginning stages and then just kind of cue you in, and a lot of it will be what it sounds like. Now, within a or within, rather, is going to be a prefix, and that's going to be intra. Okay, so we've got a suffix, which is going to be us. We've got a prefix, which is intra. Vein is our word root, which is going to be ven, or vin. So however you want to say that. So however we put this together, we're going to end up with, sorry, intra is a prefix, so the line should go at the end of it. Anyway, it's going to be intravenous. Again, you have your prefix, you have your word root, and you have your suffix. Okay, so if you want more practice, depending on your going with this, go ahead and pause here for a second. I'm going to show you the answers to show you all the terms built, um, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so again, you have arthritis for the first one, intravenous, inflammation of a bone is osteitis, inflammation of the bone and joint is osteoarthritis, Pertaining to under the liver, subhepatic, disease of the bone, osteopathy, disease of the joint, arthropathy, and inflammation of the liver, hepatitis. Okay? So, I believe, nope, we got a couple more here. Now, for this one, you can build the medical term for an from an exercise. So for example, this is just a picture of a normal knee joint on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, you so you have a knee joint showing bone showing what? Well, we have bone thickening, bony proliferation, articular cartilage and bone cysts. So bone is going to be osti. The connecting vowel is going to be o. Joint is arth, that's an h there. Inflammation is itis. So it's going to be osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis. It's a little tough to see. Okay, now for example, which of the following is analyzed correctly? All right, if you look at this one, um, this one is not going to be analyzed correctly correctly because pathy is one whole thing as a suffix. So that one's not right. Now if we come down here, arth is not a prefix. It is a word root. So the correct answer for this one is going to be B. Where's my little pen here? Because arth is the word root. We've got a connecting vowel. Pathy is our suffix. And this is the combining form. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.